Best Bernie Doodle Dog Breed Guide The Bernie Doodle is known by many names, Bernie's Mountain Poo, Bernie's Poo, Bernie Poo. But what the crossbreed is even more well known for is how great of a companion they are. Bernie Doodles have a great temperament for just about anyone, and they make great pets if you have small children or other dogs too. These guys are affectionate, loving, and absolutely love attention, which is why so many people are looking to get their hands on one these days. That's why we created this handy Bernie Doodle dog breed guide, so that you can know as much as possible before you make the leap. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video, as we are going to shed some light on some lesser known Bernie Doodle facts you should know. Enjoy! Breed Overview the Bernie Doodle is the result of crossing a Bernese Mountain Dog with a Poodle, and the result is a dog that is both intelligent and caring, as well as silly and a bit aloof in the best possible way. Because of the Bernese Mountain Dog genetics, these dogs can get pretty big too, and can reach a weight between 70 to 90 pounds and a height between 23 and 29 inches when fully grown. Generally speaking, if you want a dog on the larger end, you should choose a male, as they tend to be slightly heavier and taller than their female counterparts. Maybe most amazing of all with Bernie Doodles, however, is their life expectancy. Most people expect larger dogs to leave shorter lifespans, which is the expected norm, but Bernie Doodles actually live a lot longer than your average dog. You can expect to have one of these dogs in your life from anywhere between 12 and an astounding 18 years old, which is pretty abnormal for this kind of dog. Meeting the Parents When you're getting involved with a crossbreed dog, the rule of thumb is to take a look at what the parents are like. In this case, we have a Bernese Mountain Dog, which we already touched on a bit, and a Poodle, which is always a part of the Doodle combo. Let's cover the Bernese Mountain Dog first, as they're a pretty interesting animal with a really cool history. They first became popular in Switzerland during the 19th century, where they primarily protected farms and pulled heavy carts. It wouldn't be until around 1926 that they would make their way to America, though, and it took another 11 years for them to be recognized as a member of the American Kennel Club. The Poodle, on the other hand, has always been a bit of a star. Getting their beginnings in Europe, they are one of the oldest purebred dogs in history, if you can believe that. They primarily were used to retrieve dead animals from the water during hunts, and had a talent for anything water-related. A quick lesson about generations. Another important thing that you have to know about when dealing with crossbreed dogs is how important of a role generations play in determining the kind of dog you're getting. Earlier generations, but mainly just the first, have something called hybrid vigor, where the dog inherits none of the parent's genetic setbacks. This comes at a cost, however, as you are less likely to be able to predict what the puppies are going to look like, and if they are even hypoallergenic. We call this first generation after crossing the Poodle and Bernese Mountain Dog the F1 generation. The F stands for filial hybrid, which signifies the dog is a crossbreed. The 1 stands for the number of generations. In this case, it is a first generation dog. Finally, if you see a B, for example F1B, that means that you are dealing with an F1 dog that has been back crossed, which usually means the dog is bred with another poodle. Breeders will do this sort of thing when they want to better guarantee that the puppies will have hypoallergenic and non-shedding coats, which they inherit from the poodle. If you are searching for a Bernie Doodle, a quick rule of thumb is that the later generations, like an F2 or an F2B Bernie Doodle, will be more likely to have poodle genetics as the balance tips more and more in that direction. Sizing them up In terms of sizing, Bernie Doodles mainly come in three distinct sizes, tiny, mini, and standard. Be warned that sometimes smaller Bernie Doodles are the result of breeding the runts of the litter with one another, which can lead to some illnesses and health concerns as a result. A tiny Bernie Doodle is the smallest, and is only about 12 to 17 inches tall when fully grown, so a little taller than a ruler. A mini Bernie Doodle will grow to be about 18 to 22 inches tall, and a standard Bernie Doodle, which is the most popular size, comes in anywhere between 23 and 29 inches tall. The bigger the Bernie Doodle is, the more you will have to exercise them in order to keep them happy and healthy. You also will need more room for your Bernie Doodle, or else they may experience depression or exhibit destructive behavior. 
An adult Bernie Doodle will need roughly an hour of exercise, and you're going to have to do that twice daily in order to keep their energy levels down. Personality A Bernie Doodle's temperament may fluctuate a bit depending on factors such as their life experience, training, and environment. Generally speaking, however, Bernie Doodles tend to be playful, friendly, and are a really approachable dog to strangers. They also learn quickly, which is great for training, and adapt to a new environment or situation fast, too. That makes them a great choice if you are thinking of adding more pets or children into the mix, as they will actually enjoy the added company. This is not a dog that you should expect to experience pushback against, and really they just want to spend time with you and be a part of your life. Unless something happened before your time with the Bernie Doodle, you shouldn't ever have problems with attitude or aggression either. Grooming Since these dogs don't shed, you're going to have to brush them more. Expect about two to three brushing sessions a week at minimum. It's also worth mentioning that they will become a furball if you don't take them to the groomer, although that is more up to whatever your desired look is. You should also be bathing them once every two to three months in order to help them maintain their skin's natural oil levels and prevent any dandruff or irritation. Health While Bernie Doodles can live for a long time, there are still health conditions that can get in the way of that. As a result, you should be trying to get them to a veterinarian as much as deemed necessary and form a good relationship with them. As they are big dogs, they can experience joint issues like knee and elbow dysplasia, as well as some eye and heart problems as well. As long as you stay on track and are aware of your dog's health though, these problems are either preventable or treatable. To wrap up our dog breed guide, we have some final facts that you should be aware of. On top of coming in three different sizes, there are also three different coat types that your dog may have, straight, wavy, and curly. If you have allergies or are very interested in the non-shedding nature of these dogs, you are going to want to try and find a curly-coated Bernie Doodle, as they are the only kind that is completely non-shedding. How expensive are Bernie Doodles? Well, because of their popularity and temperament, you may be paying anywhere from $2,500 all the way to $5,000, so keep that in mind. Is there anything else you guys are interested in or want to know about the Bernie Doodle? Let us know in the comments section and we'll try our best to answer it. If you enjoyed the video, which we sure hope you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as it helps us out in a big way. That's all for our guide today, but we'll see you next time.